not. And what the kids be saying is a behind the curve pop culture knowledge straight from a high school teacher's classroom. <laughs> this is where we keep up with Gen Z so you don't have to. This is season three, episode one. I cannot believe y'all have been rocking with me for two whole seasons. There's 20 other episodes of What the Kids Be Saying that you can find on my Instagram and or on the YouTubes, okay? So if you are a teacher that needs to be hip, if you are a parent that needs to stay hip, this is for you. And this is also for your fellow non-hip parents and, and teachers. So share. Don't but just be keeping the goodness to yourself, okay? Let people know. Comment, subscribe, do all the things, ladies and gentlemen, okay? <laughs> um, and I said this on the very first episode of What the Kids Be Saying in season one, and I would just be remiss if I did not mention it again. We like to give credit around here at What the Kids Be Saying, and we need to credit the kids. A large part of what happens in pop culture is driven and created by black students, black children okay and we need to credit them for driving and making culture so at what the kids be saying i will always my bestest try to do that so on this episode we have six terms i have six terms no just kidding five terms <laughs> five terms for you today and term number one is a buck a buck means being honest and it's like the new version of keeping it 100. I've defined the term keeping it 100 in a previous episode. So go find that if you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I like to tell stories if you're new around here. So this is t the story that goes with the buck. It's the first day of school. I'm talking to my wild first period. <laughs> and we're discussing study hall and whether they have to show up. And one of the students is like, I just see that study hall has like attendance now. And there's like a whole thing set up for it in the grade book and what's that about and i was like well you know you've always had attendance for study hall and he was like i'm gonna keep it a buck with you i was never there <laughs> and i was like wow <laughs> great sounds good <laughs> so that's our first term our second term is more of a trend it's the for me trend for me it could be negative or positive it could be the funny thing that you're noticing or it could be the annoying thing that you're noticing so when people were talking about whether or not teachers were going to go back to school and you know teachers aren't being selfless enough and i was very annoyed with the media and with the government and i was like it's the y'all thinking i'm your babysitter for me that's an annoying version <laughs> But a positive version could be like, you see some fine man walking and you're like, it's the height for me. <laughs> okay, just kidding, but not kidding at all. <laughs> okay, term number three is run me my check. Run me my check means give me my credit. So you guys probably all know already, but I had a video go viral the first day of school on TikTok and then me and my students were talking about it. And the kid who instigated the whole thing, who thinks it's his, he's the, the star of the, who carried the video. And he's like, you got a, almost a million views. It's past a million now. He's like, yo, run me my check. <laughs> and I was like, sir, I have no money for you. And you know what they want? Extra credit. We literally had nothing in the grade book and they're asking for extra credit. Do the normal credit. <laughs> anyway, okay. New term number four is it's giving. <laughs> okay, so it's giving is a way to describe your first impression or a way to cast judgment. So, you know, I have a story, right? So I have a friend. One of her friends was trying to 
get her to be interested in a guy. So, you know, me and the other friend group, you know, we're in, we be instigators and we're like, send pics. Pics are, it didn't happen, right? Like, and so we see the pic of the guy. We're casting our judgment on the guy. This is not right of us. Shame on us, okay? And I'm like, it's giving vanilla. It's giving very much no flavor, very much no personality. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, I know, it's so wrong. <laughs> but we had a good laugh, we had a good laugh. Anyway, so it's giving, is that's you casting your judgment. You're like, mm, it's giving, and then you, you'd you say what, what you think it's giving. <laughs> okay, and then last but not least is the, not the, this is a playful way to say you didn't have to go that far. So of course, I'm gonna go with the viral meme here with the Killmonger from Black Panther. Not the bang! <laughs> if you don't know what a bang is, first of all, you're not paying attention to my stories or my videos. That's number one. Number two, maybe I'll do a separate, I'll have to do a separate video about this because it's very funny. Um, but yeah, they just thought, Gen Z thinks, you know, Killmonger went too far with the bang yang, with the bang. <laughs> I don't, the kids are crazy, <laughs> but I'm also here for it. <laughs> that does it for this week's episode of What the Kids Be Saying. Like, subscribe, share, okay? The, the content for those of us who need to be hip. And ugh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Ugh, ugh. But I'll see you next time. Until until next time. Stay hip, friends.